Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and we're here today with episode number one in our incredible new tutorial series where you're going to learn how to control your Arduino using Python. What I'm going to need you guys to do is pour yourself a nice tall glass of iced coffee. That would be straight up black coffee poured over ice no sugar, no sweeteners, none needed. And as you're pouring your coffee, as always, I want to give a shout out to you guys who are helping me out over at Patreon. It is your support and your encouragement that keeps this great content coming. You guys that are not helping out yet, take a look down in the description. There is a link over to my Patreon account. Think about hopping on over there and hooking a brother up. But enough of this shameless self-promotion, let's talk about what this new class, this new series of lessons is going to be about. What we're going to do is we're going to learn how to control the Arduino with Python. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, many of you guys have already taken my, my uh, Arduino lessons, and what you've learned is the Arduino is very, very adept at interacting with the outside world. Any number of different sensors can be connected to the Arduino, and it's very easy to interact with those sensors through very simple commands in the, uh, in the Arduino IDE. E. Similarly, the Arduino can control motors, it can control uh, servos, it can do all types of different things. The other really cool thing about the Arduino is there is an incredibly large user base and an incredibly large knowledge base, and so there are all types of resources out there that no matter what you are trying to do with the Arduino, chances are someone else has already done that and is sharing their expertise online. So there's this incredible user base and this incredible knowledge base. So the Arduino is indeed a really spectacular platform really spectacular single board computer to work on. But now kind of like the one limitation is once you've made your measurement from the sensor or once you've done things, you have very little opportunity to display that data or to play with that data or to communicate with that data using the Arduino. You can sort of send it back to your PC and you can print the data up in the serial monitor or maybe you can try to do a little bit of something like a graph in the serial monitor but the problem is life kind of stops there once you get the data back to the PC. Well, those of you who, guys who've been taking my Python lessons, you know that Python is an incredibly powerful computer language that has incredible graphics capability that you can plot really, really sophisticated graphs or you can do stunning 3D visualizations, 3D animations, and 3D models. And in my Python series of lessons, what you guys that have been following through with those have learned how to do 3D graphics and 3D simulations and all of that sort of stuff using Visual Python. So what this series of lessons is about is kind of bringing it all together, all right? Taking the stuff that we learned about Arduino, taking the stuff we learned about Python, Python, taking the stuff we learned in vPython and bringing it all together where we could do something like hook the Arduino to a sensor, but rather than just printing out numbers on our computer screen, we could go in and create really sophisticated 3D models and 3D animations and then make those animations come alive based on the data that is coming from the Arduino. So imagine like we have a, a, a temperature uh, a, a temperature sensor and a, a humidity sensor, a sensor that measures temperature and humidity hooked to the Arduino, and it is just sitting there you know, uh, spitting out temperature and humidity data, and we're looking at it and reading it off of the serial monitor. Well, wouldn't it be more interesting if we created a 3D graphic of an actual physical thermometer and a 3D graphic of a humidity sensor and have those things responding and showing accurate readings based on data that is coming from the, that is coming from the Arduino. Similarly, in Python, we learned how to do widgets. We learned how to do 
slider bars and we learned how to do uh, we learned how to do radio buttons and check boxes and so forth well wouldn't it be neat if we could take the data from those slider bars and those radio buttons and have those affect parameters on the Arduino and so those are just a few of the really really cool things we could do if we could get Python working together and talking with the Arduino that is what these series of lessons is going to is going to be about and that's kind of what the motivation is now a little bit about the prerequisites of this class okay if you guys have never written anything in Arduino and you've never done anything in Python this is not the right starting place for you you need to go back to my Arduino lessons and at least familiarize yourself with Arduino you need to at least know something about Python you need to have your Python program up in your Python uh, environment uh, uh, up and running on your computer you need to have your Arduino up and running on your computer and so if you don't have some basic familiarity with uh, with Arduino and Python this is not the right place to start now the good news is I've done a really complete and well explained series of lessons on Arduino I've done a really complete and well ex explained series of lessons on Python and now I'm going to show you how to get those two things uh, working together now at the same time I will say you don't have to be a Python expert you don't have to be an Arduino expert to jump into these lessons now a lot of you guys in this class are coming from my Python lessons that you've gone through my introductory Python you've gone through my visual Python and now you are ready for the exciting new stuff others of you maybe have gone through all of my Arduino lessons and now you're ready to connect Arduino to Python and maybe you're not quite as familiar with Python you guys could still go ahead and try to take this class okay I hope that makes sense now what I would like to do is I would like to talk to you a little bit about the gear that we're going to need for this class and the gear that you're going to need is most of what we are going to do you can get in the Elegoo super starter kit this is available on Amazon if if you look down in the description and uh, below this video I have a link to the kit that I am using if you go down and use that link you will be helping me out a little bit by hooking a brother up with uh, with an Amazon affiliate link okay but uh, really this is a this is a great kit it's hard to say exactly because I make these lessons and then availability changes and prices change right now this complete kit is about $50 on Amazon sometimes you can poke around Around and you can find it sometimes for like 35 on Amazon and sometimes when it's in short supply it's a little bit more so don't get mad at me if when you go and watch this video if the price isn't exactly what I said what I will say is it's a great value I have used this kit for many years and it has a lot of really really good stuff in it and so I just think that it's easier to just buy the kit than try to put the components together individually now as we get into this class there might periodically be a sensor here or something there a, a couple of additional components that we would need but 90% of what we're going to do in this class you will be able to do with your most excellent Elegoo super starter kit and again link down in the description below okay guys I am going to give you this week your homework for this week is to get your gear put together and get your system configured and so coming into next week what you need to do is you need to have your Arduino ID installed plenty of lessons on this channel on how to do that you need to have Python up and running plenty of lessons on this channel on how to do that and it would be great if in Python you went ahead and installed the library library visual Python or vPython if you're not sure how to do that go back in my Python lessons and look at the lesson on installing the uh, installing the uh, visual Python also in this class we will be coding the the Python in Visual Studio Code if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed go back and look at the other uh, earlier lessons in my Python series and uh, and get your Visual Studio Code installed okay so it sounds like this lesson is a lot of look here and look there but I want to give you a week to get your gear put together and get your computer configured and then next week we are going going to jump in and we are going to start coding hey really want to welcome you guys who are joining me from the uh, visual Python series want to welcome you guys who are joining me from the Arduino series and then probably there's going to be some of you guys who are presently taking my artificial intelligence 
class and you probably are going to pop in over here to see what this is all about. But next week what I'll do is next week what my goal is, my goal is to write our first program next week that will have Python talking to Arduino and Arduino talking to Python, sending uh, data back and forth from Arduino to Python and Python to Arduino. And that's really 90% of the battle right there. Okay, guys, I hope you have as much fun taking this class as I am making the class. If you're looking forward to the class, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, when you subscribe to the channel, ring that bell so that you'll get notifications when future classes come out. And then always it helps me with the old YouTube juice with the YouTube algorithm if you'll leave a comment down below. And if you plan on taking this class, leave a comment down below. I'm in. If you think this is lame and are not going to take it, leave a comment down below. I am out. Okay. This is Paul McWhorter from toptechboy.com. I will talk to you guys later.